This is Access 2016, Module 5, Part 16. We're going to look at a few miscellaneous things at the end of the chapter. The first one being long text fields, and then we're going to look at creating what's called a trusted folder. So we're going to go back into our database, and let's open up our visit table. You'll notice in the comment field, we have colored text, bolded, and you don't see that in any other field in Access. So we're going to take a look at what that is. All right, so we have long text. All the other fields that we've looked at were considered short text. Now, short text is 255 characters, which sounds pretty long to me. However, the long text is 65,535 characters. So clearly a significant difference. But some of the other options that we have are for example, if you come down here into the field panes, I'm going to close my property sheet. You'll notice here under Format, Text Format, it says Rich Text or Plain Text. Every other field in Access is Plain Text. The long text is the only one that gives us the option to include rich text, which means we can change the format, we can change the font, the color, the size, we can bold, italics, all of those things to enhance or make the text st stand out, we can adjust in a rich text format. So you have the ability to choose with long text whether you want it to be a rich text or not. So append it only is another option that we get with our um, long text field that we don't get with any other. So what append only lets us do is instead of replacing the text every time I type in it, it adds a historical log. So for example, if I was doing um, tracking customer contacts and um, maybe credit collections, so each time I contacted a customer, I might want to put in there what they said so that the third time they told me the check was in the mail, I could inform them that they had already told us that on this date and this date and this other date, and that it was no longer an acceptable answer, that we needed something more than that. And so you could keep all that log within a long text field. The long text data type is the only data type that allows us to append only or allows us to use rich text. I'm going to go ahead and close this table. The next thing we're going to look at are designating a trusted folder. So what a trusted folder is going to do for you is it's going to make it so that any database that is stored in that folder access is going to assume it's safe. So if you had all of your databases stored in one folder, you could designate that as a safe or trusted folder and then you would not see all of the security options 
that would pop up when you opened it. So let's go ahead and choose File. And then we're going to go down to Options. And we're going to go to the Trust Center. You want to click on the Trust Center settings. And then we're going to choose Trusted Locations. Notice here we have one path that it has specified as trusted. If we want to add new ones, we could simply click here, put in the path. So I could browse and say in my C colon under my IUPUI 2016-17 and then say subfolders are also trusted that would trust any subfolder underneath it. And then I can say OK. Now it has added this folder. It shows me when I added it. And that way I should no longer see the security messages every time I open a, data, a database that I have to um, enable the content. You still may see some messages if you download it from the internet because it, it realizes that it was a downloaded file. But if you have all of your databases stored within a trusted folder, it will minimize how many times you get that security message. Just to refresh your memory, if you wanted to do a compact and repair, you choose File. Compact and Repair. If you wanted to do a backup, you're going to choose File, Save As, Backup Your Database, choose Save As, and notice it names it with a date. You can also add text, so if you wanted to say Part 16, and then save. Now you also have a backup of your database in case anything goes wrong.